Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today we're talking about mail merge in Microsoft Word, in particular, how to fit multiple records onto one page in a mail merge. So typically, you might want to do that for printing out labels. If you were organizing some sort of social event and everyone wants a label, you don't really want to print one label per page. So you might have a page of uh, 10 names or something like that. So what you would do is you would open up Microsoft Word. Okay, and just uh, open up a blank new document. We're just going to make this as simple as possible. Okay, I'm not going to use any of the advanced features or anything like that. I'm just going to start with a table and depending on how many uh, name tags you want to fit in. So this obviously has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This has eight rows on each side. So that's 16 people. Okay, 16 people. If you want more rows, feel free to uh, insert more. So you just go to the layout tab and you can just click insert below and keep going. Insert as many as you want to get to how many people you want. Let's say your event has 100 people, maybe you want 50 on each side and so on. So once you are happy with how many, you then want to style it so that each... Um, cell is the correct height okay so you might make for example the height to be uh, let's say five centimeters okay so now you have all of these pages all of these pages of name tags okay and then you're ready to get started okay so now you're going to go to mailings start mail merge and just choose letters okay and then you're gonna go to select recipients and this is where you choose that Excel file so I'm gonna go to use an existing list and my Excel file is on my desktop so I'm gonna go to my desktop and choose data and I've only got one sheet so click OK First row of data contains column headers, which is true. First row of data has headers. So these aren't included in my mail merge. Click OK. OK, and now I'm going to click on insert message field. First name, last name, and then I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to go, um, oops, and then I'm going to go company. OK, so now I'm going to... Um, preview the result okay it's got Edward Chair Magic Monk okay obviously you can uh, make the text a bit bigger if you wanna oops okay you can I'll leave the formatting to you guys change your font change the middle alignment all that okay maybe the company name is not as big or name is not as big or something like that whatever you think okay so here is the most important part of this video i guess all right there's only one name so if you go to the next page all right so you got six names they're all on different pages so you don't want that okay so then what you want to do okay what you want to do is go to the next cell and then go to insert message field uh, first name last name company again actually you can just copy and paste that can't you if you just select this copy select this paste okay and then you can um, you can preview results and you can see both names are still the same but that's not what we want so you can just uh, go to this cell at the start rules next record okay and then if you preview results you can see that it's got the next person now 
Okay, so that's really good. Now, what we want is we want the middle alignment again. So, um, actually, the middle alignment can be just applied to everything. So, press Control A, Control A to select everything and go to Home Middle Alignment. Okay, and then I can simply copy this and paste it into every single cell. Okay, and it's sort of taking a while. So, what if I select multiple? Oh, yes, you can just select multiple cells and just press Control V. Okay, so now these are all there. And then you can simply go back to mailings, preview results. It's got everyone now. Obviously, I only have six people, but let's say you have 50 people, they'll all have a name tag. And then you can simply go to uh, merge to Adobe PDF or finish and merge, uh, edit individual documents or print whatever you want. Okay, let's say we want to um, print and you can simply just print the current record, the current record because that contains every single person. So click OK. And let's say we're going to test it by printing to the PDF file and just see what it looks like. I'm just going to call this labels, put it on my desktop. Okay, and done. Okay, this is the labels I'm printing out to my printer. All right. Obviously, I only have six people, but let's say you had 100. These are all come out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.